Hello everyone. In today's video, let's explore the real life applications of arithmetic progression and friends you will be surprised by how deeply it is ingrained in our everyday life. So, let's start. Friends, did you know that nature uses arithmetic progression to design honeycombs? Well, let's learn how. So the bees start making the honeycomb with a single hexagonal cell and form ring after ring of cells around it. So if the zeroth ring has one cell, it is observed that the first ring is made up of 6 cells, the second ring is made up of 12 cells, the third ring of 18 cells and so on. So amazingly, the number of cells in each successive ring form an arithmetic progression except for the zeroth ring. So friends, how many cells will there be in say the seventh ring? So taking the first term A as 6, the common difference D as 6 again and N as 7, we will use the nth term of an AP formula and substituting the values, we will see that there are 42 hexagonal cells in the seventh ring. So definitely we have a lot to learn from the honeybees about arithmetic progression. Let's now see how arithmetic progression contributes to the world of music. Friends, let's listen to this note from a mouth organ. So apart from the main note of frequency omega, you will also hear frequency that is twice as fast, that is 2 omega. Also you will hear frequency which is thrice as fast, that is 3 omega, also 4 times as fast that is 4 omega and so on. So friends, this in music is known as harmonics and beautifully it follows the arithmetic progression where the first term A is omega and the common difference D is also omega. So for example, I can take A as 55 hertz and the common difference also is 55 hertz and I get a harmonic series using the nth term formula of the AP which looks like this 55, 110, 165, 220 and so on. So friends, why is harmonics so important? Well, that's because harmonics is what makes music sound so much more soulful than just listening to a single main note. So that's why arithmetic progression makes music so melodious. Let's now see how arithmetic progression helps in your savings. So friends, suppose you start putting in rupees 50 in your piggy bank today and every day after that you regularly deposit 15 rupees. Then how much would you have saved after say 60 days? Let's find out. So if your first day deposit is 50 rupees, then on the second day there will be 50 plus 15 that is 65 rupees and on the third day you will have 65 plus 15 that is 80 rupees. So these numbers indeed form an arithmetic progression where the first term is 50, the common difference D is 15. So in order to find the amount after 60 days, you just take N as 60 and using the formula for the nth term of the arithmetic progression, you can easily substitute the values and find out that after 60 days, you will have rupees 935 in your piggy bank. So a big thanks to arithmetic progression for helping us reap rewards of saving. You will be amazed by how much elegance and aesthetics arithmetic progression bring into the world of design. Let's take a look. Did you know that arithmetic progression is one of the many math concepts that was used while building the world famous pyramids? Well, even today pyramids are very popular in games like Lego blocks and in Minecraft. Many of us have seen these decorative artworks outside home entrances. They are called Rangoli. And did you know that the dots that form the backbone of Rangoli design often follow some arithmetic progression? Well, for example, here, the number of dots in the first row is 1 and then it increases by 2 successively. Again, the number of dots decrease by 2 successively. So due to this arithmetic progression, the design formed around these these dots are very appealing to the eye and have perfect geometrical patterns. Even in the kitchen when we place bowls decoratively like this, 
they are unconsciously following a decreasing arithmetic progression. During festivals, many door entrances sport these attractive flower decorations and you have guessed it right, arithmetic progression enhanced the beauty of these flower arrangements. Let's see how. So if the first column has one flower and the number of flowers in each successive column increases by one, then undoubtedly this is an arithmetic progression. And using the sum of n terms formula, we can find the number of flowers needed for one side of the decoration and then you just need to simply double it friends to find the total number of flowers. And how can Mehendi designs be left out? Yes friends, these intricate shapes used in the henna designs look even more fabulous when arranged in increasing or decreasing arithmetic progression as you can see here. And the arithmetic progression is hidden even in the intricate cross stitches and embroidery work. So friends, suppose you are having 5 stitches in the first row and in each successive row there are 3 more stitches. You will again see that a neat little arithmetic progression has been created. Now suppose you want to know how many stitches will be there in the 25th row. Simply substitute the values of A, D and N in the nth term formula and you will find that there are 7 77 stitches in the 25th row. Decreasing arithmetic progression can also be very effectively used. Let's see how. So friends, suppose you are daily watching TV or other mobile devices for 2 hours and now you decide to reduce your screen time by say 5 minutes daily. Then on the first day you would have watched for 120 minutes. On the second day 5 minutes less that is 115 minutes. On the third day 110 minutes and so on. So these minutes form a decreasing arithmetic progression. So in how many days will the viewing time come down? to half an hour. To find this, just substitute the first term A as 120, the common difference D as minus 5 and the last term L as 30 minutes in the formula for the last term of an AP and on solving you will find out that the viewing time will come down to half an hour in 19 days. So this way you can use arithmetic progression to reduce your screen time gradually. And last but not the least, let's see how a taxi meter uses arithmetic progression to calculate its fare. So friends, suppose the fare is fixed at rupees 30 for the first kilometer and then rupees 10 extra for each additional kilometer. You would like to know what would a 45 kilometer trip cost you? So the first kilometer charge would be rupees 30. For the next kilometer, it would be 30 plus 10 that is 40. Then it would be 50 and so on. On. So friends, these numbers form an arithmetic progression. So substituting these values of A, D and N in the formula for the nth term of an AP, you can easily find out that for the 45 km trip, the cost would be rupees 470. So friends, to summarize, here is the list of the real life applications of arithmetic progression. I hope that you found this video useful. If so, please do like and share the video. Do consider subscribing to enjoy math and please do leave your comments in the comment section below. So till we meet again in the next video, take care.